Hi guys, I'm sorry. Hi. <laughs> me out again. So I was asking you, um, were you able to, no, I'm sorry, Maricela, you were going to ask me something and Antonio, you were going to ask me something else. Tell me guys, you were going to ask me something. No, no, no. Okay. No, okay. No worries. Okay. So let's go ahead and open the platform. That way we can go over the answers. Okay. And were you able to find any mistakes? Were you able to find yourself? having a little bit of difficulties with exercises on the platform or precisely in the final exam that you can think of so we can go over it. Do you guys remember if you had problems with the platform, with any of the exercises? No, I have none. Okay. No, me either. Okay. So, well, let's go over the first part, just for those of you who, who have not finished or complied with it. Je what about Jesse and Luis? Do you guys have any? Mm -hmm. I finished. No, no everything is okay. Okay. I... okay, super. So let's just go over the answers, okay? That way we can have check if you guys have the same or if you guys missed at some point. Go with the first part, which is part A, choosing the words. Okay, so for the first one, if you walk to work, you won't have to pay for the bus, okay? You won't, because yes. it's next. You have it correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. If you take a vacation, you may feel better and more relaxed. For number three, if you get married, you will have less free time, okay? It's not guaranteed, that's why you use will instead of might or won't. Fiona carefully plans her day so she nev she's never late for appointment. She likes to be punctual, which is another way of saying on time, okay? Punctual. Number five, Jerry tries to help people and never says no when someone asks him for a favor. He needs like a really, I'm sorry, he seems like a really, mm, yeah. hmm. For me, and I wanna be honest, there's a mistake here. This is like in the air. He seems like a really generous, but it's like saying, él se ve como un generoso. So it's like in the air. You need to add a compliment. Like he seems like a really generous person, doctor, okay. architect, cousin, relative, okay. friend. So there's something missing. So it's like, in, it's correct to say he seems like a really generous, but there's a little mistake there. So I'm, okay. I'm, I am going to just write it down because I know I, I that's why I like to go over them because that way we can actually come up with um, mistakes and then fix them for the next generation to come right so this is final test part a five part a number five okay he's generous and generous is missing something if something but this is for you to know. It's good for you to know because it's incomplete. Okay. Then Amy and Sam get angry easily and almost never smile. Everyone thinks she's, I'm sorry, everyone thinks they are moody and bad tempered. Bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bad tempered? Yes. Okay, super. Okay, so there was a mistake on number five. Nevertheless, the answer will always be generous. Uh huh based on what they're trying to say, on the context. Okay, let's go with the second part for listening. Let me listen to it because I haven't listened to the audio for this one, so remember. <clears throat> Units nine to 10 quiz, part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Sylvia, can you believe that 15 years ago, not many people had personal computers? I know. I remember being so happy when my parents gave me a manual typewriter for my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, 
I had one too. It used to take forever to type something. Well, before typewriters, people used to write each other. My mother has some beautiful old handwritten letters. Those were the good old days, huh? Yes and no. Nowadays, email makes it so easy to keep in touch with family and friends. So you wouldn't want to go back to those days. No, I'm very happy with my new laptop. Hey, you want to buy my old typewriter? I think it's still up in the attic somewhere. Oh, no, thanks. Two, I love old houses. I like that they have a past, you know, a history of every family that lived there. But Marcia, if you buy an old house, you may have to make a lot of repairs to it. Repairs? What kind of repairs? You might have to change the pipes and electrical wiring, or even put in a new heating system. Well, that might be true, but just think of how wonderful it would be to live in such a beautiful old place. But if you stay in your apartment for a few more years, you won't have to worry about moving. You'll have a lot more time to save money for your dream home. Three. So, Jim, have you thought any more about the kind of work you're interested in doing? Well, I've been thinking how I love traveling and... <laughs> so do I, but that's what you do on vacation. No, Dad. I mean, I want a job that involves traveling. Oh, like uh, an airline pilot? Well, not exactly, but hey, you just gave me a good idea. I work well with other people, and I don't mind working long hours, and I'm good at French and Spanish, so maybe I could become a flight attendant. Hmm, a flight attendant. Do you think your mom and I would get to fly at a special family rate? Mm -hmm. I think so. Great. Four. Do you know yet what you're going to do this summer? Well, I think I'd make a good counselor because I really like working with children. I'm going to try to work at a summer camp. Yeah, you'd be great working with kids at a camp. That kind of job isn't for me, though. But, Mac, you like hiking and camping, and you're hardworking. But I'd hate to have the responsibility of taking care of a group of children. And I'm way too impatient to work with kids. Well, what else would you enjoy doing? I really enjoy working outdoors. I think I'm going to try to find a job working at a national park. I'd love to help park rangers take people on nature hikes and things like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and check our answers. Okay, so for number one, I think number one was tricky. Okay, because she did mention she had some old yeah. letters from her grandmother. I think this was a tricky one. And she asked her friend that she, you know, if he wanted to purchase her or get her old typewriter. But in the end, Sylvia is happy with her laptop because she spoke about her laptop, right? So the answer is, it's happy with her laptop. For number two, according to Harry, if Marcia stays in her apartment, she'll have more time to save for a house. True, right? As the other had nothing to do because then, yeah, she had to make a lot of repairs on it. So she wouldn't be able to afford a big old house because of this. So the most accurate one for this one was the second one. For number three about James' dad, well, he did mention, this was another tricky because he did mention that he yeah. spoke French and Spanish, right? And I don't remember if he mentioned something about vacation. I don't remember. Like he said he wanted to travel, but he didn't say vacation. He said he wanted to travel. But in the end, he liked the idea of becoming a flight attendant. Mm -hmm. Okay. And for number four, Mac, okay, um, they did mention that it, you know, um, has a lot of patience to work with kids. Nonetheless, he wants to get, um, oh, and he was also asked to, to be a counselor at a summer camp. At the end, he wanted to get a job at a national park, which was the main focus of the conversation, okay? It was a tricky listening part, final exam listening part, yeah. Okay. Yes. No questions here? You guys had them all correct or you did have to listen to the tape over and over again? How many times did you guys listen to the tape? More than once? The time. Okay, remember, and this is an exercise for you. Whenever you do this type of exercises for listening, try to do the exercise listening to 
a recording or an audio one time, okay? Because if you listen to it over and one. over again, one time. Because if you listen to it over and over again, you're not really doing the exercise. The idea is for you to listen to it one time and understand the first time you listen to it. So that's when you start educating your ear to it. My suggestion, okay? okay? I know it's difficult. Only two times. <laughs> Only okay, two. <laughs> two times is okay. But try to do the exercise with one time and you're, you're going to start educating your ear more. Like challenge yourself, okay? For the okay. next one, for the next time. For letter C, let's go over it. Okay, for this one, we're going to complete the conversations for number one. I'm not very good at typing. Oh, I am. I am. You guys have that one correct? Yes. yes. Number two, I like yes. working with computers. So do I. And number three, I don't mind driving to work every day. Neither do I. Oh, I don't, doesn't make sense, really, I like it, doesn't make sense, mm -hmm. based on the topic of answering gerunds with, was, with so do I, so am I, so do I, yeah. neither do I, et cetera, okay? Good job. Okay. And choose adjectives for part D, let's find out. Fiona carefully plans her day so she's never uh, late for appointments. She, wait, no. Is this the same one we just did? Mm, oh, no, yes. it's a different one. No, I, I remember do this to time. But I think it's the, another part. Or maybe I did this one. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> maybe I went over it again because I'm like, I feel yes. like I have, okay. Um, yeah, but I can I can found it, but I remember. Um, it's at it's at the end of the first part. Yes, ah, the, the okay. number four. Number five. Ah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, so we did this one, right? Ah, we did it with the other one where I told you that there was a mistake with it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yeah, remember, but they're the same sentence. That's why I got confused. Okay, so for Fiona, carefully plans her day so she's never late for appointments. She likes to be punctual. Mm -hmm. Punctual would be the adjective. For number two, where Jerry tries to help people and never says no, when someone asks him a favor, that is generous. For Amy, Amy and Sam get angry easily and almost never smile. Everybody thinks thinks they are bad tempered, right? Okay. So those are the three adjectives for this part. And I think this is our last part, which is matching. Let's go over this one. Is this the last part of the exam, right? This is the last one. Yes. Okay, so I'd like to work as an English teacher because I'm very patient and enjoy helping people learn because I'm too disorganized, doesn't match, because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people, doesn't match with teaching, and because I don't like to travel or work with people. Okay, so the best option for this one is this one. The other ones, nah, they don't match at all. For number two, I wouldn't want to be a flight, a flight attendant because I, don't, because I don't like to travel or work with people. I would want to be a flight attendant because I don't like to travel or work with people. Do you guys think that's correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yes, it is. Okay. Because I have an excellent memory and like meeting people, because I'm very patient and enjoy helping people learn, or because I'm too disorganized and can't help, can't stand hospitals, nothing to do. Hmm. Okay. I wouldn't want, so you can get confused here because you would say, but I would, you know, it's, the positive one, not the negative one. So yeah, so you can get confused here. I wouldn't want, I would not really want to be that because I don't like to travel or work with people. For number three, I would make, I would make a good waiter because I have excellent memory and like meeting people because I'm too disorganized and hospitals, nothing to do, very patient, enjoy helping to people learn, nah, nah, nah. and because I don't like to travel or work with people, we already used it. So because I have an excellent memory in like meeting people, okay? 
I wouldn't be a good waiter at all. And number four, I could never become a doctor because I'm too disorganized and can't stand hospitals. I could never become a doctor, okay? So this is the right answer. So guys, this was actually uh, just a little review on the answers for the final exam. Do you have any other questions regarding, um, regarding the platform or regarding any other exercise? from the platform. It doesn't have to be from this from this one, but it could be from uh, section one, two, three, or four, that you might have problems or still cannot complete that exercise for X, Y reason. Do you have any other that you can think of? I have problem with the um, Which one? Tell me. Three. Uh, section three? I don't remember. Yes. Okay, let's go um, over it. Let's do it together. Just tell me which one it is. Section three, exercise or midterm? No, number three, let me see. Um, my computer is so slowly tonight. Don't worry, don't worry, I can wait. We still have time. Okay. Well, while Maricela is loading, maybe if anybody else has had problems in the past with any other exercise from the platform, let me know so we can go over and check the answers. Because sometimes the answers have a lot to do. Remember that, and for the rest of your courses, okay? Always remember to use capitals, punctuation, avoid double space, and always a period at the end if it's a sentence. Because sometimes it doesn't take the answer because of that. Mm -hmm. I can find. Was this one the one about samba? <sighs> Maybe the one about samba. A lot of people had problem with carnival time. I yes. remember you texted me with carnival no, no, time. No. no. With the 5.4? Five point, point Maybe. 5.4. Five. 5. Yes, 5.4. Five, okay, oh, here, 5.4, okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, for Jaren's. Yes. Okay, so for this one, ah, I don't like commuting by bus. So it's when you have the, when you have to add ing next to the auxiliary verb. Ah, uh, okay. Which one do you have problem Which with? Which one? Uh, but I put just you, you, you told us, yes. So I, I put, Everything perfect. <laughs> yes, I don't have, I don't, um, I have a correct answer. Yes. And always been incorrect. Yes. Ah, always, so always, wrote... always, 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 always. Yes. You so, write them correctly, but when you check them, they give you a mistake. Teacher, I just say that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you, don't write... you don't understand me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, so maybe <laughs> what I think it could be happening is that maybe you have a problem with the platform. And we can report yeah. it to uh, Jonathan or Jason or any of the per, of the guys from the <laughs> providers, okay? Because sometimes it's not okay. it's not that you're not doing. You can send them the print screen and tell them, look, I am writing it correctly, but it's not taking. Yes. So maybe there's a glitch. Remember that this platform sometimes they they do give you problems. So maybe it's not you, it's the platform, okay? 
because the answers yeah. can be can correct. Be... And okay. because in the past, I have had students that the uh, it blocks them. So every time, even if they write it correct, after attempting mm -hmm. so many times, so what they do is that they log out from the tool, let it rest like for 24 hours. That's one of the things that they suggested to log out, let the computer rest or the program rest yeah, yeah, yeah. for 24 hours and then try it again afterwards, log back in and try to do the exercise. Again. Yeah, but I did that, I did that uh, another day. And I just couldn't it. Uh-huh, oh, okay. No. So mm -hmm. if you want, let's do that. Take the print screen of the mistake and let's send yes. it to Jason or to one of the guys from Inglés Corporativo. That way okay. they can help us out. Jonathan, I think. Okay. Jonathan, uh -huh, or Jason, or uh -huh, any of the guys that contact us on the okay. group. And that way we can find out what's the problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, Super. thank you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anybody else with problems with the answers or any other type of problems with the platform? No? No. 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 Sure? Everything okay. Respuesta definitiva. Are you guys sure? Okay. Well, <laughs> guys, today was our last session for this intermediate. I don't know if I'm going to be your teacher for the next one, but if I am, it's going to be amazing to have you again with me for the next intermediate. If not, it was a pleasure, okay, working with you guys. I hope you had fun. The idea of the session is for you to witty witty speak more than me and for you to practice the language, not just on the platform. And um, it was so great working with you guys and meeting you all. Thank you because the same group that started up actually ended up the, with me, right? Even though there's many people, I know this is maybe because it's not an obligation for everybody to join night after night. Not everybody takes the classes, but I think that if more people were to join, it would be incredible. The class would be more a dynamic nevertheless you guys made made it 10 right so thank you guys uh for joining on a friday with me okay so i hope to see you soon you have my whatsapp number if you guys need something i'm, I'm gonna be there more than welcome to help you guys out okay and try to clarify any of your doubts even if i'm not your teacher anymore you can always come and ask me questions okay i do have students from that i don't have anymore and they always text me and ask me questions and I'm always available to answer to you guys, okay? Okay, okay. okay. thank, thank you, you very much. Sir. I really enjoyed uh, the way that you uh, manage the, the class. Yeah. And yeah, it's been a pleasure. I hope uh, we, can, we can continue uh, working together in the next uh, module. Okay. But if not, yeah, let's, let's keep in, 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 in contact, Super. even though. Uh, of course. If I'm no longer your teacher, then you have a friend, okay? Uh, by, uh, a person you can speak English to, and then you can practice with me. <laughs> yeah, okay, guys. Thank you again. It's been a pleasure. You're welcome. My pleasure, too. Likewise. Okay, guys, have a wonderful evening, okay? A wonderful <coughs> night, and I'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Bye. Good Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye, Maricela. Bye. Bye. Bye, Jesse. Bye, teacher. Bye, S. Romero. <laughs> I think that's Samuel. Okay, later. Salud, pues. Bye. <laughs>